Welcome to our online class, Women's Studies 3360 or Women in Literature. This course will specifically be taught as a course on Chicana feminist theory, literature and art. And I'm thrilled to be teaching this class in an online format and work with you this summer. My name is Dr. Marion Rohleitner. I'm an associate professor here in the Department of English at UTEP. My area of specialization is contemporary Latina, Chicana, and Caribbean diasporic fiction. And I'm also very interested in the visual arts and film, which will be reflected in our syllabus. I earned my PhD in 2007 from the University of Notre Dame in Indiana, very different place from El Paso. And my area of expertise in which I mostly publish is Chicano literature, which is why I'm thrilled to be teaching this class here at UTEP. As you may be able to tell from my accent, I'm not from Texas. I'm originally from the Austrian Alps, Innsbruck, in the province of Tyrol, 30 minutes north of the Italian border and about an hour south of the German border. I came to the US in 2000 to start a PhD in American literature. And like many students here at UTEP and maybe some of you, I'm a first generation college student and an immigrant of sorts. Uh, my interest in Chicano literature stems from my passion for narratives about strong women, about the ability to negotiate multiple cultural backgrounds, languages, use code switching, and I'm really interested in the role literature and art can play in affecting social change. And those are some of the topics we will discuss in our class with some of these books, as you can see here. So this course offers an introduction to some of the most important texts, authors, issues, and developments in contemporary Chicana literature, theory, art, and feminist thought. In an effort to do justice to the wide range and richness of Chicana literature, we will read from a wide range of genres, such as the novel, short fiction, poetry, drama, the manifesto, autobiography, the graphic novel, and the essay. So make sure to have access to the following books. Trace Elements of Random Tea Parties by Felicia Luna Lemos, which is set in contemporary LA and, well, contemporary, 1990s. So that might be not contemporary enough for you. But it's set uh, during the LA riot scene. Uh, another sh collection of short stories I'd like you to read is Woman Hollering Creek by um, Sandra Cisneros. Borderlands La Frontera, The New Mestiza by Gloria Anzaldúa, which is a foundational text in Chicano theory. Canicula, Snapshots from a Girlhood in La Frontera, which is a memoir with photography. What Night Brings, which is also used as a book that can be taught in middle school and high school. It's young adult fiction. And for the first time, Las Osiconas, which is a graphic novel um, about three Chicanas, young Chicana artists. So in this class, we will ask a couple of challenging and I hope exciting questions about the complex nature of Chicano literature in a context of the United Farm Workers Movement, the Chicano Civil Rights Movement, Third World Feminism, Immigration Legislation, U.S. Hegemony in the Americas, and Queer Theory. Some of these questions include how do these texts and artworks engage with and reflect the history of the United States, Mexico, and Central America, especially with the regards to the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, the civil wars in Central America in the 1980s, the militarization of the U.S.-Mexico border, and NAFTA? I think all issues that are very relevant to us here on the border. What is the role of women within the Chicano civil rights movement? Why do so many of us know Cesar Chavez and much fewer of us know Dolores Huerta, for example? What is the relationship between Chicana feminism, second wave and third wave feminism? How does Chicana literature and how does Chicana art relate to US Latino, Mexican and Latin American literatures and art? How do Chicanas them define themselves as transnational individuals? And how do these texts and artifacts create and contribute to artistic movements such as Rascuache and to literary genres such as autobiography, memoir, testimonio, the historical novel and the graphic novel? You'll be introduced to some of the most important figures in Chicana, literature, art, and theory, such as Gloria Anzaldúa, Norma Alarcón, Jerry Moraga, Emma Perez, who used to be a professor of history here at UTEP, Marta Cotera, Chela Sandoval, who's also a film scholar, Sonia Saldivarjal, and Deb Vargas. We will also read key literary texts by Ana Castillo, Sandra Cisneros, Lorne Di Cervantes, Carmen Tafoya, Carla Trujillo, Alicia Gaspari Alba, who's also native of El Paso, Ishta Maya Murray and Felicia Lunan Lemos. We'll look at the artwork and discuss iconic Chicana artists such as Esther Hernandez, Yolanda Lopez, 
and Alma Lopez. We will focus specifically on the reappropriation of three female icons that are central to the Mexican American, American imaginary, La Virgen de Guadalupe, La Malinche, and La Llorona. And we'll look at the reappropriation of these figures by feminist Chicana writers. We will incorporate visual representations of such, image, of such figures in Chicana feminist art. Um, and I also think that an online course specifically offers us the opportunity to effectively incorporate visual arts and virtual exhibitions, such as, as the Smithsonian Latino Center, which we'll take a look at. We'll also include short films and documentaries. So what will you do in this class? Um, I hope you'll enjoy all the readings. I hope you'll be very active participants. Um, I will ask you to write short daily responses to the readings in the form of a journal. I will give you feedback on those every other day. You're asked to create a final project that is based both in research but also in your creative imagination. So you have a leeway, a lot of leeway in that. Um, an online course, I think, also allows us for a focused discussion in small groups and I will arrange for those. And it invites students to engage all the theoretical text, fiction, poetry, and all the other genres creatively. So be creative in this class. Just because we don't meet in person doesn't mean that we can't engage creatively with each other. I also hope, and this is especially important to me, that you will share and bring to class your own lived experiences of living in the borderlands, your knowledge of Chicana cultural practices in your families, and your familiarity with local artists because I am sure that I can learn a lot from you in this, in this um, effort as well. So I very much look forward to our conversations, to reading your work, to hearing your ideas, and to engage with your scholarly and creative concepts about Chicana feminist theory, literature, and art. Thank you.